So you're ready to get serious about taking notes. Awesome. But maybe you have some lingering questions about how to organize your notes or how to start. Hey folks, my name is Justin with Effective Remote Work, and today we're going to talk about some of the best ways to at least start organizing your notes. Let's jump into Obsidian and we can take a look. Okay, so I have this note here. These are basically the concepts that I want to outline in today's video. First and foremost, if you are struggling with organizing your notes, but you don't have very many notes yet, probably the most important thing that you can do is to just start. I know this is something that I get hung up on myself and others I'm sure do too, is that you wanna have the whole finished product figured out in your head. You wanna know exactly what folders or tags that you need and be able to organize all your notes up front so that you know where they go, you know where to find them. And a lot of this comes from the leftover mentalities from the file system on your computer where the only way you can really organize your files and folders is by folders. And then also from older note-taking applications like Evernote and so on and so forth. We've kind of gotten locked into this mentality that every little thing needs to have one place it can be. However, with these newer note-taking softwares, these next generation note-taking tools like Rome and Obsidian, you can just start taking notes and then you can organize them at a later point in time. Why? Because number two on the list here, linking. Linking is an incredibly powerful tool to giving context to your notes. The context provided by links is more powerful in my mind than any folder or tag could be for providing any sort of organization. Here's why. You can link a note in multiple places. You can have four different notes that link to the same note. That means four different ways you can get back to that one note. Whereas if you have a folder, it's one folder. And there's probably lots of other notes in that folder. So your chances of finding that note are pretty slim. If it's tags, you can have multiple tags that point to that, that note, but there's also many other notes that po are pointed to that tag as well. So a tag is more of a one-to-many relationship. A folder is a one-to-many relationship, but a link can be one-to-one. -one or it can be many to one. And so it drastically improves your ability to find a piece of information at a later point in time using a link versus a folder or a tag. So when you're first starting off organizing your notes or at least taking notes in a software like Obsidian, start by linking them. Let me show you how to do that really quick. So in this note, I wanna make a note to say, you know, just basically what we went through, that tags are a one to many relationship folders, one too many relationship, but a link is a many to one relationship. And maybe the statement that I want to make here is that links are more powerful for organizing than tags. So now basically what I've done here is that I have written some thoughts down on this subject. Again, they're not super deep. They're thoughts that I'm having right now about this, but if I don't write them down, then I might lose them in my brain somewhere. They might come to surface at a later point in time, but writing them down in a place where they will be kept means that I can return to them at some point later. Then this link, which is just created by these double square brackets, is something that it doesn't exist at this point yet. If I control click or command click over this there, I mean, if there's no note here, but if I click on it, it will create that note. So then I can potentially come back to this if I want to and flesh it out a little bit more. I can leave it without any content into in it at this point in time. I can start writing some content in here if I like, but the cool thing about it is that there's always context here for this note from this note. Now, once you've done this many times where you've gone and you've just started taking notes on something, you've created a note, you've maybe linked tags. Whoops. Maybe you've linked folders as a concept you're interested in. Maybe you've linked links. 
you've got different links to different concepts inside of your vault now. So then at a later point in time, if you link tags somewhere, you can then click on that note. You can also see backlinks and references and so on and so forth. These links give context and they give multiple paths to get to different kinds of notes, to different information. Now, once you've started writing a number of notes, where do you go next? This is the ultimate question I think a lot of us have in the beginning of creating any kind of notes. How do we organize them? But when we take notes to start with, how to organize becomes much more organic and much more visible and much less burdensome to us, which I think is the most important part because these patterns start to emerge. So say you're like me and you like taking notes on various different types of productivity topics. I, for one, have been taking a lot of notes on problem solving lately. I've been taking a lot of notes on different you know, building productivity systems, um, you know, mindsets and things like that. And one of the things that has been helpful for me is then I can come back to those notes. I don't have any organizational system to them right now, but I can come back to them and I can organize them in a way that works for me. Now, we already talked that folders and tags are a one-to-many relationship. That's a good thing because it allows you to kind of group things together. The way that I approach folders and I'll show you here in my vault, is that I, they're just light groupings, things that I want to keep separate from other things. So I have an inbox folder here and then some attachments, my daily notes, some private notes that I don't wanna publish, and then some templates that I use inside of my vault. I don't have any other folders at this point in time because I'm also using tags. So tags, again, a one-to-many relationship, and let's clean the screen up here so you can see it a little bit more clearly. I'm using tags inside of my vault to signify both type and status. So type being things like literature notes, permanent notes, book notes, video notes, things like that. Status as well, things that I wanna come back to look at, such as to-do articles, uh, literature notes that I want to process to craft into more permanent notes, so on and so forth. I don't really organize my vault in with tags or with folders, this gives them a light structure and a place for me to reference things from, to easily access certain things in different ways. The key way that I organize my vault is by using this concept of a map of content. I'm still developing a lot of these out in my vault, but a map of content is essentially a grouping of like notes. So a map of content would look something like this. If I come in here and I'm going to go into my productivity systems map of content, these are different notes that are for me, for one, uh, but they're all related to my thoughts around building my productivity system. I have every few months I'm coming in and saying, okay, what needs to change here? And I'm creating a note for that and it's all just grouped in this. It's an easy one-stop shop place where I can get access to other notes. But again, as I mentioned, the beauty of linking your notes over organizing them by folders or tags is the mere fact that you can link them in multiple places. So you can see that I have this note here, the first step to making changes to your system is to define the problem clearly. Like I mentioned, this is one of the problem solving notes that I've been working on. So if I go into that, you can see I have different notes here that I'm linking, ask the five whys to clarify your problem, spend just as much time clarifying your problem as you do working on solving it. And if I click into here, understanding the scope of the problem will lead you to its solution. You also see I have topic uh, links here as well. So if I go to problem solving, you can see that this is not actually a note, but if I go into the backlinks pane inside of Obsidian, you can see all the notes that we just looked at there. Ask the five whys to clarify your problem, spend just as much time clarifying your problem as you do solving it, so on and so forth. Now, this I think is probably the most powerful way to organize your notes when you get started, is to create maps of content. Group your notes together, but ultimately start linking them. 
When you start linking your notes and you let organizational systems develop organically and naturally out of the information you're putting into your note-taking software, one, I think it makes a heck of a lot more sense to you in the long run. You remember where things are. And two, it gives you a lot more context. So instead of having 12 nested folders to get into a specific topic, you can click a link, then click a link, then click a link, and get to where you want. It's as easy as that. Now, if you're interested in learning a little bit more on this subject, I know I am not an expert at this. It's something that I'm continuing to learn, and I really just want to share with you my understanding of it. But if you want to get deeper into this, I definitely recommend checking out Nick Milo's linkingyourthinking.com. He's got a course here if you're interested in diving super deep into it, but he also has a YouTube channel. And if you join his emailing list, you get access to his awesome light kit. And I'll show you that really quick. The light kit is basically what we just talked about. It's a more in-depth look at how to build a personal knowledge management system, how Zettelkasten and his idea of the light framework and the maps of content, which is originated from Nick, um, this is his way of sharing with you and sharing with us how to dive into that. If you're interested in diving into this, I'll put a link in the description below. I think Nick's content is fantastic. I'll also put a link to his YouTube channel too. I definitely recommend if you're looking at diving super deep into the world of personal knowledge management, Nick is the guy to check out. Now I will say if you're looking for a one size fits all solution, this is not it. This is not going to tell you exactly how to organize your notes, but what it will do is it will give you mindsets and tools that you can use to shape the way that your note taking looks like, the way you're thinking about it. Because I think that in any form of productivity, whether you're talking about note taking, whether you're talking about a productivity system like a task manager, where you're managing reference materials, where you're managing projects, heck, even if you're communicating with others about a project or trying to manage people, there really is no one size fits all solution. A lot of us like to have that silver bullet, but to be honest with you, every single person is different, our thought processes are different, and so the best way to progress forward if you're looking at truly becoming a little bit more effective in your life and in your work is to build better mindsets, to think about your work differently. Anyway, that wraps things up for this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe. Let me know what you think about Nick's light kit and the whole maps of content concept in the comments below. My name is Justin with Effective Remote Work. Thanks for watching.